Be honest, you know you like the drama. This is a world. This is a world premiere. This is a world. Hey y'all, welcome to another Food for Thought. So I'm sitting here having a little Puka Revitalized Tea. You guys, have, I've featured this tea before. Burst of warming organic cinnamon, cardamom, and ginger. So I thought I would chill out with you guys. It's first thing in the morning here at Alt Space. And um, yeah, I thought I would talk a little bit about this, um, a little bit uh, about some of the responses that I've been getting to you from videos that I've made recently, specifically talking about Dorian Ryder, um, yeah, there's been some talk about vegan gains folded in there, some talk about Aizel Mazard folded in there, some talk about vegan cheetah, and um, all of this in the context of me working on this um, retreat space here in Detroit. It's a, res uh, a retreat space, a uh, safe haven for um, cultural expression and for veganism and um, a place that I've hoped really could be a, a landing pad for people who are interested in learning more about Detroit to do so in a vegan safe setting in a very tolerant setting, a place that has a bit of a social justice analysis um, and a place that is operating under the principles of the solidarity economy. So these are all things that, you know, require a lot of thought, a lot of time, a lot of energy to be able to make a reality. And here we are, here we are. We've had, um, you know, we just ran a fully accredited <laughs> university course, a, a fully accredited college course. Um, f uh, f and it was its third time running the course, right? So there, you know, now are, you know, 30 students now who have received college credit for coming to Detroit and being in this space and being vegan. <laughs> and being vegan for two weeks, right? And so, and that's something that's, you know, expanding their conversations with other universities. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited about that work. Last week, we also had Kate, who's gonna be in residence here. Uh, Kate and Miles are kind of joining the, the creative collaborative team here at Alt Space, and Kate had her hand crank washer and we were you know unboxing that and it just was you know a really awesome thing just like really bringing these ideas of sustainability to life in a space through practice through real practice but one thing that i've noted is that um you know there's a handful of you like my hardcores the people that i i know who you are and i adore you and i've called you out by name many times at this point i'm sure and so those folks really come to the channel and they really delve into whatever topic it is that i'm throwing out um the last live stream by the way was really engaging and i don't know why it didn't post from new yeah uh, you now automatically so i i'm gonna look into that but our last the last live stream was a conversation really kind of a um, a reflection on 9-11 and the dominant narrative around 9-11 and how um, the U.S. moved very quickly to um, attack a country that wasn't directly involved and we've now been at war in the Middle East now, the longest military operation in, I think, in U.S. history and, and this all on the back of this event that may or may not have been the responsibility of, a, you know, a particular organization or uh, certainly a particular country, right? So those are all things that were, you know, are being discussed on the channel, not getting the attention. <laughs> not getting the attention at all and I'm not complaining I, you know people watching the channel has grown steadily since I started posting you know I don't advertise I don't really do a lot to promote the channel every now and then I'll do a push if I'm about to reach a milestone just letting people know that I'm about to reach a milestone but other than that this channel just really kind of happened it just kind of happened and I really appreciate that but it seems to me like if you look at my channel, you know, there's one video that is, um, you know, photos that I took at uh, Gruta de Cacahuamilpa, which is in the state of Guerrero. It's a, it's a cave, an underground cave. 
and that video has had somewhere you know around 20 30,000 views something like that anyway um, just over the years that it's been there and that video has been up now for seven years close to eight years it's what it is other than that particular video my most viewed videos are the videos where I am criticizing other YouTubers and specifically vegan YouTubers and it's those uh, uh, vegan YouTubers who seem to be the most controversial and it's just so interesting to me that that is what um, a majority of people find engaging and I don't, I'm not going to let that affect me too much. I'm not going to sit here and suddenly start doing video after video about you know vegan gains and the fact that he is aligning himself with white nationals i'm not going to do a bunch of videos about dorian Ryder and whatever bad behavior he's engaging in right now you know someone did a whole thing on him being um a, a narcissistic having narcissistic uh, personality disorder and I'm watching that whole thing and thinking wow do I have narcissistic personality disorder you know that's that's not uh, those things are not what um, engage me and I would be bored to tears if I had to sit here every day or three times a day or uh, three times uh, every day or three times a week or once a week or even once a month and make a video you know you know trash talking um, someone who get to me just isn't relevant now, I've spilled tea all over myself. Excuse me. Now my knee is shiny. Anyway, so all of that said, um, some of the responses that I got from you were really, really interesting. First of all, um, it seems that to some of you, I came off as very kind of, you know, not concerned, just very flippant. And I, I even mentioned in the video that I was coming, I felt like, like I was coming off as very glib. And it's not that I'm not deeply invested in this work. It just seems to me that we can so easily become sidetracked when we get lost in our criticism of people who are, you know, interested in self-promotion. And, you know, I'm not going to say that I'm not interested in promoting myself. I'm a human being and I want to be a part of the human community, right? And so I want to be um, heard. I want to be seen. I want to be acknowledged. I want to be embraced by people and probably as many as possible. Um, but I know that it's unrealistic to think that I am going to be embr embraced by everyone or embraced by everyone equally, right? And I would rather be embraced by people on a deep and meaningful level than to have a very kind of surface, um, um, a, a kind of a surface connection or a surfacey interest from, you know, millions of people. That to me, it just is not, it's not, it's not very interesting, right? And it leads to s such horrible things. And I've, you know, lived long enough to see that happen to people I never in a million years would have thought that that would happen to, right? We can look at what's, in fact, what's happening with Bill Cosby, for example, hugely, hugely popular figure, someone who was beloved of, of the world, right? Who we see get admired in, in, um, scandal very, very quickly. Of course, Bill Cosby did some really horrible things too, but I don't want to suddenly now focus all my energy on Bill Cosby when there are so many amazing people out there, including a lot of you who are doing amazing things in the world. And that's really where I'm coming from. There's so little time. There's so little time in any of our lives to live richly and a way that is self-sustaining and rewarding and it adds up very very quickly and you can find that you've spent your entire life complaining and I say this not as a kind of holier than thou and like you poor fools but I've done it you know I've been down on myself uh, dissatisfied with myself, 
feeling like I haven't accomplished the things that I've wanted to accomplish. And then I look back on my life and I see all of the amazing gifts that I have been given along the way, things that I can boast um, that I won't right now, but things that I can boast that, you know, most people just can't, right? You know, most people can't. So I've been really, really, really lucky. And it's taken a long time to get to that place, but I've been really, really lucky. So if I don't care to expend energy on things that zap me, then I, I can't, right? I get up in the morning and, you know, I sweep the floors and mop the floors and put a little, you know, protective coating on the floors. And that, to me, is fulfilling. I would rather do that than spend my time sitting and, like, um, scouring the inter internet for the next, you know, juicy piece of gossip that I can share that I know will get lots and lots of lots and lots of clicks. So I hope that you can all appreciate that. Um, so yesterday was Independence Day and I hope you guys don't mind, but I didn't celebrate. Uh, fortunately, Chris was here and so I got to hang out with him and we built some shelves and I am doing a walkthrough of Alt Space for all of you very, very soon. But, you know, I just, I can't get into that. I just, what are we celebrating? Um, the fact that we have a country, perhaps, but, you know, the fact that it's called, you know, Independence Day and the thing that we're celebrating is, you know, freedom. When um, at the time that uh, America achieved its freedom from England, you know, there were, there were, there was a nation of people here enslaved. So I'm, whatever, whatever. So I don't have to go on about that. You guys can see that there's some ir irony in the whole idea of Independence Day. You can see that there's some irony, right? And it's so, so funny because like there's that movie Independence Day that has to do with like the big spaceship that just comes and starts destroying the earth and kind of like, you know, just, um, you know, haphazardly killing off the human race, right? Well, guess what? The Europe was that ship that just came and landed and started, you know, haphazardly destroying folks, right? So the idea of, you know, you know, we, we create these films where we have these invaders that come and do these horrible things and we have to fight them because we're the good guys, right? We're fighting for freedom and democracy, but that's not really it, y'all. Come on, we're the Death Star. <laughs> we, we're the Death Star, as a good friend of mine once said. So that's kind of where I am right now. As I said, um, oh, this play is still coming. I'm still looking forward to sharing some of that with you. Haven't brought the camera to rehearsal, but probably will. Um, you know, Miles is in the show as well, so we might sit and have a chat about it, or I might follow, I might follow Miles around. He might give me permission to do that. So we'll see. Um, what else is coming? Oh, kombucha. Kate uh, has brought her jars. She's going to be making kombucha, so we're going to be doing some kombucha making. I hope that that is something that is interesting to all of you. And otherwise, let me know the things that you want to see. Um, other than just like drama and like hateful stuff, you know, what do you want to see from this channel? Um, yeah, what do you want to see from this channel? Um, Jack is here. Jack has just taken a little snooze. You can't see him because the lighting is a little too bright over there, but that's it for this video. Like it if you like it. Share, comment, subscribe. This is Reg signing off. Love yourselves. Peace. And I love myself. The world is a ghetto, big guns and dicky guys.